Hello everyone and welcome to my next let's play. As I already posted in my last video, I'm recording a game as my home country, which is Poland, and the leader Casimir III, also known as Casimir the Great. And Poland is one of the new nations in the uh, Civilization V, came with Great New World, and has the ability which is considered as one of the strongest in the game. And personally, I agree. Especially with uh, receive a free social policy when you advance to the next era is definitely a really awesome ability. Uh, especially since with Brave New World, the um, culture you're getting from buildings, which was in most cases uh, the main source of culture, has been reduced. The buildings, as you probably notice, only give one culture like uh, amphitheaters, opera houses, uh, museums only give one culture and if you want to generate more culture you have to mostly rely on uh, specialists like great writers or great artists. Uh, the unique unit Winged Hussar it's a nice unit however it's a lens replacement and mm, well you don't plan your strategy on building a lot of lancers, no matter what you game plan you're following. So I'm not really sure if I will be using that. Mm, I'm uh, planning to record a peaceful um, diplomatic gameplay, as uh, I also mentioned in my previous game. Uh, my opinion is that it is the easiest victory type from all at the moment. However, it changed significantly since Gods and Kings and therefore I would like to present it. Uh, I've shown a little of uh, technological victory in my previous game and maybe I'm gonna do a cultural one next. We'll see. Okay, however, uh, let's go to the uh, unique building. Nothing really that fancy. Where place is uh, stable and... Uh, gives you additional gold in comparison to the standard stable. So the unit and building isn't really that big of a deal. However, uh, the unique ability is really strong. Okay, when uh, do I start? Hmm. That's an earth map, so I recognize that I'm starting in the Central Asia. Okay. If I moved to the desert and heal position, I would have great chances and I could benefit strongly from Petra. Uh, however, I'm not really sure if I will be able to get that. And I will be resigning out of the forest, uh, not forest, river start. I could also settle on ivory. And, um, oh, I wanted to scout that. Ah, and I got a promotion. Okay, you know what? I will build a second city somewhere around there. Uh, and if Petra is not taken by that time, then I might try to get it in my second city with maybe Great Engineer. I might go for Liberty opening. Oh, there's Silver as well. Okay, so I was saying I'm planning to go... Oh, Maria Teresa, hello there. I'm planning to go for a diplomatic victory. Basically, all you need to do is have a peaceful game, concentrate on economy, on getting the city-states when the moment is ready, and stay alive. The main things which might disable such a victory and such a gameplay is when you're playing against AIs that like to either conquer city-states or uh, ally city-states and get extreme amount of uh, influence with them. Uh, Maria Teresa is not really in any of these types and uh, well she might marry some but she rarely does it. It's an ability that you almost never see being used. I've already met one city state, Panama City. Let's. Oh, who's there? Siamese. Okay, Siamese guy is actually the one who 
likes to ally the city states. Oh, that's the second ruin the Airstream Scout took from me. Ah, uh, if I sh did not leave that on automate, I could have got both of them. Okay, as you can see, I've already got one caravan. How does this influence my science? Five from my city and three from the one trade route. That's actually awesome. Not really sure if I should go for shrine. Although Desert Folklore might be powerful. It might be even enough to get a religion. So I'm gonna give it a shot. What do you've got? Unknown civilization. So there is someone who's already gotten a pantheon. That's the most common pantheon of them all. The one that gives ranged strength to cities. Although the human players rarely use it. I personally never use it. In most cases the other pantheons are uh, better than this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, got archery. Let's go for wheel. I want to establish some trade routes as soon as possible so that I can get my income and also science going yeah, she's got 19 happiness yes definitely in this scenario in this gameplay I'm willing to be happy with everyone okay let's start with the walker walker we can upgrade some of the ties, I can chop down the forests, upgrade the horses, embassy. Now we're gonna exchange embassies once I get to riding. Okay, you get that. Okay, what can I go for next? Maybe I will go for that writing to get the embassies with the Siamese and Austria. Okay, you're gonna chop down that and speed up my library, although I'm not gonna get the library for now, because it's only three turns. So I'm guessing you're gonna speed up something else. I'll just skip one turn. Okay, another two science, and we've got up to ten. Get one more caravan. Oh, 32 turns to a great library. That's just awesome. Am I getting more from from trade goods? Science from transits? Yes, I am. Okay, let's start. Go for that calendar, and now we can exchange embassies. And speed up. That library? Well, not really. Okay, tire allocation is fine, the city is growing. And we can exchange embassies as well. Okay, you've got a starting situation. Uh, you've got. Uh, I'm checking if the AIs can build Petra in their capitals. Lanes, Hill, Desert, Marble, this one can. It would give you him very little use, because only the two tiles are desert. But still, you, you don't know what the AI is planning, or AI behavior doesn't necessarily need to be hmm, wise. It would be better for him to build Petra in this location. Of course, there's also a possibility that the third AI I haven't met it is in North America. In such situation, he's most likely uh, in Central America and he can build the Petra in his capital then. Uh, he might be able to build, I should say, maybe 
to be more precise okay now let's go for Republic Now six plus six, now nine plus six. Okay, I need to switch one. And what can you do? You can give me a watermill. Five texts behind. Well, not really a surprise since it's date is third. Okay, there goes my free policy from advancing into next era. Now, let's go for currency. Okay, upgrade this tile. Okay, after currency I will most likely go into guilds who's got that unknown civilization but you might suspect which civilizations are there because in gods and kings if someone adopted Christianity well you never knew what civilization was that because all of them wanted Christianity first now we've got Catholicism and um, Eastern Orthodoxy and all other religions that separate the nations. I mean, if that's Catholicism, it might be, for example, Bodeca or Ethiopia. They adopted Pantheon quite early, so that's also my... Ah. S uh, s s s suspect? Suspectation? Huh. Okay, never mind. Ah, she's expanding here. And he's also expanding a little my way. Strategic wise, this location which I'm which I have is not the best because I'm in uh, between. Mm -mm, 19 turns. I'm, go I'm gonna squeeze trapping in so that my worker has something to do in the meantime. Now, what can you get me? Another caravan, please. Uh, I was saying that strategically speaking, I'm in the middle of two enemies. So, technically, it, this is a really bad starting location. But since the new, the brave new world. Mm, encourages peaceful solutions and peaceful gameplays. Uh, finally, oh fucking hell! And he did build it in that city that gives him basically nothing. Uh, okay, in, in such situation, I don't need to rush that. Okay, that's the previous route. Mm -mm. Uh, what I was saying, uh, the game encourages peaceful gameplay. You get more benefits for being peaceful, keeping the trade routes and uh, everything connected to that, research agreements, etc. And therefore, um, this starting location isn't as bad as it would be on Gods and Kings. Okay, Siamese are usually the peaceful nation. Uh, you couldn't say that on them on the uh, previous expansion uh, uh, uh. the Austria is actually also a relatively peaceful one okay how much science I'm getting oh I'm getting more from the trade goods than from my city yeah, not really a surprise let's go for a settler now I'm gonna get the free settler Mm, although I might uh, next I might switch to National College so that I get the National College built before mm -mm -mm, before uh, settling. Okay, 
I don't really have that much choice where to go. I can settle one city somewhere around here. Probably this spot would be the best. And the other one has to go somewhere towards Austria. That wouldn't be the wisest decision. Maybe I could go somewhere south, far away. Hmm. Not really sure which option would be the best or the safest, let's say, because obviously if you settle in the face of your opponent, then they will declare war on you no matter what you do. Or no matter how peaceful the game is. Yeah, the only setting I'm playing with is the no barbarians, therefore I'm mm, sending my settler unguarded because, uh, well, if I was playing with barbarians I wouldn't be so uh, uncautious, but now, okay, let's check if there are any city-states that would like me to give them gold, not really, there's actually two cultural ones which I would like to ally in the first place. Okay. I'm most fed, but that's because I've got only one city. Hmm. No, construction is almost ready. Let's go optics so that my scouts can go into motor. Okay, where's that scout? Hold it, hold it. Because scout will not go into water by itself. Still getting more from the trade goods than from my cities, or my one lonely city. Okay. Scout now waits. Or maybe not. Oh, hold it, hold it. You can actually go now. Go. Here, stupid scout. Okay, you've got one more turn left. So let's start building farms and stop chopping down the trees. Okay, National College is ready, so I can start settling further. Okay, let's go engineering for the additional trade route. And my scout is gonna go well, let's see if this ancient ring is still available. Oh, and there's six iron. What situation would be fine? Well, here's a hill next to silk and deer and theoretically these horses. It's probably the only option I've got. Okay and start building some defensive units. I'm not giving open borders. Mm, the main reason for that is... Uh, well, there are actually two reasons. I don't want them to scout my territory. Uh, and the other reason is I don't want um, to be vulnerable for their tourism. For example, Austria is already... Well, she's built the uh, Parthenon, so she's generating um, tourism. I don't want to give her open borders. I'm already giving her trade routes, but you cannot really do anything um, about it other than declaring war. So that's enough for now. Mm, she had, she completed hanging gardens and got the fate from Tandra. Let's switch to growth. Uh, 
Growth won't bring me, give me anything since I'm unhappy. Okay, let's get to guilds. You recall I had, I think, 20 turns on guilds when I first started Wisdom Chicken. Now that I've built National College and all that other stuff, I only need 6 turns for that. I'm last, but only 5 techs behind other enemies. This will change with time. I don't want to give him open borders as well. If I was going for a cultural victory, then obviously I would want open borders as soon as possible. But other than that, okay. Give me another caravan. Yes, 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 I know, we are very happy. Now you can see that Austria is allying city-states. This is a little dangerous for obvious reason she might marry them and uh, remove from the game in such a situation the diplomatic victory will be a little more difficult okay let's see if i can get past her hopefully okay that's the previous route let's give me a library She's already done that. Okay, that's the medieval era. Let's complete liberty. Then I'm gonna go for patronage, at least these three policies, because obviously you need that. And I think I might go into commerce, because I'm getting trade routes, land trade routes. And I'm also gonna be planning to get some great merchants. One of which I'm gonna get right away. Where are the city states? Budapest. Oh, actually, the cultural ones are the furthest away. Oh, and 49. No, no. So you, my dear friend, will go there. Okay, what can I go for next? Let's beeline for education. That would probably be the most useful choice in my situation okay you got that you go get the library oh hello there let's exchange embassies do you have any resources you would like oh, sure we can exchange horses since now I'm not using them okay but in this situation you actually don't need to go there let's explore and I'm gonna start going into patronage I'm not getting the Polish theme music, this is the standard theme. I don't know why is that. Okay. Another trade route. Let's work on the happiness a little because I'm on the verge and... Well, I'm not. My cities aren't growing when they aren't happy. And start building some roads. I will probably need to invest in... Nah, I need to get allied with city-states first. Invest in a worker sooner or later, rather sooner, because one worker is definitely not enough for my needs. And upgrade that ivory and sell it. My is a completed Alhambra. And she's got knights. Hopefully she's not she doesn't want to use them. What does she think of me? This one is neutral. She's friendly and she's he's friendly as well. Let's keep your fingers our fingers crossed that it remains that way. 
and Austria founded Confucianism. Okay. Kabul, how much do I need? 17. Okay. Let's be allied with you. I'm not waiting for the... Um, what's the policy name? Philanthropy, because this is a cultural city-state and I want to be al allied with culture once as soon as possible. Of course, technically, I could get 1000 gold to these as well. Hmm. Is it worth it? No, with these I'm gonna wait. These I'm gonna wait. Yeah, get that worker going. <coughs> because the cultural ones are, mm, in my opinion, most valuable ones. Because, uh, of course, then you can uh, generate policies that will give you benefits faster. Okay, there's the spy. I'm gonna move my spy to. Wait, uh, hold it, let the game stop processing. To. Portugal to not spy on my closest uh, well technically they are enemies of course, but they are my friends I don't want to uh, spoil the relations with them by stealing okay Walata Budapest would like a trade route. I think I need to go for that. Oh, and they are stealing allies from each other. That's really good. I'm checking the influence by player for Austria because my culture will have difficulties to defend against the Aust Austrian one because uh, I'm not investing in, in the culture however she, to get a cultural victory which the AI is by the way really good in or at hmm, uh, she would have to become influential with all, all of other nations and since Portugal I can see starts to becoming a cultural runaway uh, but is not investing in tourism at the moment at least then I think I'm gonna be fine well, yeah, we are friends but building walls is never a bad idea no, they keep stealing Valata from each other <laughs> okay hold it hold it because Krakow is starving uh, 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 is there anything I can do? Yeah. Okay, so now go into philanthropy and how much? 76? I've got 150. And you're gonna go walls as well. She will probably start to get a little angry that I'm stealing her allies and will say something about it. At least I would. Well, I actually wouldn't because the human player doesn't have that option. Well, let's see. No, she's actually not. Oh, she starts to marriage. Where is that? Here's Sydney. So I need to hurry a little. How much with Panama City? 85. Hmm. 500 might be enough. Because they want gold. Okay, you've got 136 turn per gold already. But you're my friend. So I might. That's right, that's what I want to do. No, no. Yep. And now Panama. 80. Whoa, she invested in them. Oh. Because it was 69. 
maybe they will hold for a little longer. Kabul does ask Great Wall. I'm a little surprised that no one has built that yet. Go get that. And now markets everywhere. Still on the floor. As far as I can tell, the other ones are s allied with Siamese, so I don't need to steal them right away. Oh, he's angry with me for doing that. Why? Why are you angry? That wasn't your ally. Oh, and now the annoying religion spreading starts. Hmm. I do technically it is it will be better to be the same religion as Portugal than as uh, Austria. Okay. Now compass. Compass gives you one more trade route. So that's the technology I'm going for. Okay, what does Catholicism give me? Cathedrals and monasteries. Well, I don't have any city I could go for. A monastery, but cathedrals? Well, I probably won't have anything to do with my faith for now. Well, technically one religion is still available. There you go, market. What can you do? Get back there and improve that deer. How is my spy doing? Oh, it will take forever. Hold it, hold it, because I don't see how much I'm getting. 58. And 28 additional from city-states. And I'm only allied with 3. Sure, we can cooperate. Cooperating with everyone. Where is that scout? The scout probably is running in circles or swimming in circles and needs to be scouting the two remaining city states. Okay, you got that now. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Give me caravan, sorry. And astronomy. You might be wondering why I'm not prioritizing universities. Well, I don't really need to do that. What I need to do is keep my allies and not allow Austria to steal them. How much? 8 culture. Oh, 8 influence. Okay, let's get you back. I'm not really sure if I will declare war on anyone this game. I'm planning to go peaceful. Uh, although, I don't exclude that there will be some wars. Okay, that's the most gold. Yeah, these two are, are identical. Uh, well, okay, if there was a war at the moment, then definitely far from being prepared for it. Let's hope that it won't come to that. And he didn't build a road there. Ah, uh, well. 
which means I'm paying for maintenance and upkeep and don't get the bonus from actually connecting my cities. Oh, Fajra. There goes Palata. Okay, Siamese stole Panama City from me. That's not good. What do you want? Ah. Open borders, I'm not really interested in that. I'm more interested in stealing Panama back. 10 turns, 8 influence, okay. Well, yeah, finish that road. I missed it. I don't see how much uh, science I'm generating because the fraps overlaps on this spot so I need to calculate it if I want to know the actual amount. Nine texts behind. What a lazy spy. Okay, but there's renaissance so I might choose some policies. Okay, I haven't met all city-states yet, so that's definitely an option. Research Agreement Austria and Siamese. Hmm. There hasn't been any Congress yet. That's a little surprising as well. Okay, let's go for one more caravan I'm gonna research the less expensive techs and maybe steal some of the more expensive one hopefully it takes forever to do that Scout is blocking my way, and now the walker is going. Ah! Oh. Went up here and back. Lost two turns in movement and did nothing. 